everybody Ann here sitting out on the porch with my iced coffee today because it's a scorcher already. And guess what? I got a Prezi. So you know what time it is. <laughs> Look at this. Look. Oh, it's a big one. So I'm going to get right into this right now. Open it up. Oh, I'm sweating so bad already. I just can't believe it. It's getting in my eyeballs. Ooh. Hang on, let me just get into it. It's a box in a box. And look it, I already know what it is. So I get to open another one. Okay, let me just open this up and I'll show it to you. Look at this. It's a window fan. And it's great because I am roasting. I'm going to go open this up and put it in one of the windows and see how it works. Let's see if there's a note. Is there a note? Hang on. Nope. No note. I don't know who it's from, but whoever you are, thank you. Uh, you're basically saving my life. Look at me. I'm sweating. <sighs> I don't know if you noticed in the background, but there was a little kitty meowing. My neighbor's kitty, and I'm. it, it is just so hot. It's just... I can't take it um, anyhow let me try and get through this thought my neighbor's cat who's an indoor cat and it's one of those lynx cats um, got outside and he had never been outside so he escaped three weeks ago and she hasn't seen him since well um, yesterday not yesterday but the day before I heard a kitty up in a tree and I didn't know where it was. I couldn't see it. So I went and got my neighbor and said, "There's, I, I hear a kitty somewhere. And she spotted him up in a tree, way, way high, way high up in a tree. And I'm talking, I don't know, I'm not a good judge of distance, 50 feet maybe. Um, I mean, it's not, it, we couldn't have gotten it to, we could not have gotten to it. Whew, we could not have gotten to it with a, um, normal ladder um, and it was perched up very high on a very sturdy limb um, and we called to to him and put food and water down at the bottom of the tree he wouldn't come down he spent the night over there um, in fact I think he spent a couple nights up there we just couldn't get him to come down and um, well anyhow um, So, a little bit ago, uh, Kitty decided to try and come down a little bit, but then he got out onto a very, very fragile limb, and um, one that couldn't support his weight, and uh, my neighbor was freaking out, and I just told her to calm down, be calm. She called the fire department, um, and they were on their way, but the Kitty was getting ready to fall any second, so I'm trying to figure out what to do. I asked her if she had a sheet, and she did. She grabbed a sheet, came out, and she had injured herself recently, so she wasn't able to walk very well. Um, and so she made it kind of like down her steps and down this little hill. And uh, we spread the sheet out, and half a second after we had spread that sheet out and was holding it underneath the kitty, um, he came down, and we caught him. We caught him, and he's okay. He made it. He was freaked out. He had lost a lot of weight. The first day that I saw him up there, he looked like a big, fat, roly-poly kitty. And by day two, he he just looked like a little skinny kitty. Um, and it's a full-grown cat. He's <laughs> very sweet. He did start drinking water and start eating. And now he's safe with his mommy. So, there's that. And I just wanted to add one thing. Any of you, just spare me in the comments. I don't have patience for it right now. About, oh, a cat can fall from hundreds of stories up in the air and land on their feet and be fine. Well, you know what? Re read the studies, okay, on that. The cats who survive a fall that big or that high, um, they're going to have some injuries. And this lady doesn't have the money right now to take her cat in you know, suffering from injuries from a fall. And let me ask you this. Would you take your cat and drop it off of a five-story building and just let it fall just to see if it survived, just to prove me wrong? You know, I don't care. I don't want to hear it. Um, we did what we needed to do to prevent that cat from getting any injury at all. 
and he didn't get injured at all and I think it's because we were standing underneath that tree and take into a account the cat had been up there for several days so the cat was in a weakened state so any of you that are gonna say oh a cat can fall on its feet and be fine and live and not have any problems well that's not every cat okay and that's not every fall and that's not every instance so spare me I'll delete your comments Anyhow, I'm sorry I'm so short. I'm just miserable. I'm absolutely miserable. Miss Donna, when you get down here, it is going to be very, very hot. I'm going to pray that you've got an air conditioner in those cabins because it's unbearable inside the tiny house right now. It's unlikely we'll get work done on the shelves. I'll get them done another time because it's just going to be too hot inside there to get anything done. I And I would rather just relax and enjoy a visit from some friends okay so anyhow look at that fits like a glove without any modifications now it comes with extenders if I needed them but I don't need them so this is the window that the wood burning stove goes out of and I will likely put the wood burning stove right back through that window it worked out great I have to shield this area but this is the window yeah my screen is still messed up so I'm just pulling this curtain up this way and it fits and it looks great it's got a thermostat it says it's 76 degrees in here right now um, but it's early in the morning um, so yeah it's gonna heat up in here we'll see how hot it gets but this is wonderful and it comes with a remote control it sure does I could sit all the way across the room and control this so I'm not going to turn it on right now. Just because it's so cool, I'm not going to use my energy resources when it's cool. But a little bit later, it's going to heat up in here. So we'll turn it on later and see how it works. Whew, look at that. It's not even 10 o'clock in the morning and it's already 88 degrees. Well, inside, outside, it's probably maybe just a little bit hotter outside and the sun is beating down on this side of the tiny house right now. So let's turn this baby on. Whoa. Oh. That feels wonderful. All right, let's see if we can get it to go up a little bit. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And see, you can make it, this is pulling air in or pushing air in you can also reverse it if you want to air out the cabin which is great um, I don't know what exchange is but I don't want auto on so we're gonna turn that off okay and let's see if we can get it to go up one more All right, now I don't know if it'll actually reduce the temperature in here, but just having that air moving, oh, I would love to be able to stay inside the tiny house just for a little while longer, just because I am so tired. Oh man, this is amazing. And I've got this hooked on to an extension cord. See that? That goes out to the uh, little solar setup outside. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, this is amazing. Check it out. 98 degrees. Yeah, even with the fan on, it's a little bit too much to bear. So, let's see what time it is. It's 1241, so I'm going outside. Just when I thought I couldn't take it anymore. Check this out. The good Lord gives me rain. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hardly ever go without socks, but I am now. Gosh, I'm so tore up with bug bites, it's crazy. I need to make me some more of my homemade bug spray. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.